Well, I guess... Jesus feels wrong, but let's milk it first and then let's kill it. Uh, because I just don't want it to suffer only for it to die. And, oh, it... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it was di- It died while it was being milked. Imagine that life, man. What's going on, guys? Stray here, and welcome back to the Dawn of Man. Well, technically not really the Dawn of Man anymore, because we are quickly encroaching on the end of the Neolithic era. Today, we're hopefully going to get pig domestication. I would really like to get stilting. Maybe just maybe underground mining, but we don't really, or we're not able to really use this until we get into the Copper, Bronze, and Iron Age. So that's obviously going to be the last upgrade. And then we have Megalithism as well. Uh, which obviously we'll get so we can get into the Copper Ages. But yeah, the focus is bridges and pigs, hopefully, today. If you missed the last episode, we got into Animal Husbandry now, and that should hopefully make us do okay, because as you can see, our food is not doing so hot right now. So at least for right now, let's address that. Let's try and get as much food in the bag as possible. And yes, as you can see, it just warned us we are low on food as well. Uh, so yes, I really got to focus on this. Thankfully, it is spring. Harvests are going to come soon. We're fishing like crazy. I'm going to be hunting as well. Actually, look at this. We got a nice donkey pack over here. Now, do we have any old ages? Because we always want to get rid of the old or dying first. Doesn't look like that, so we are going to go for some of... Ooh, can, oh, yeah, we can capture. That's right. We can get into donkey domestication in the Copper Age, I believe. Uh, but, yeah, we are definitely going to hunt some of these donkeys. It looks like now that it's spring, we actually got some stuff around us that we can hunt. Now, we can capture the Ibex. We're going to do that, and we're going to kill its mother. Isn't it great? What the hell are these? Oh, those are mine. Those are my sheep. Okay, don't hunt those. We we actually need those. Now, we also got an Arox over here, so we're going to definitely get that. That should give us a decent yield. Oh, wow, we got... Jesus, what the hell? Actually, what are these? Can we actually... Oh, we can't get these. Okay, so this is some sort of deer creature. Uh, it doesn't really look like a deer, but judging by the, the avatar, I mean, it's supposed to have antlers. I'm very confused right now. It kind of looks like a sheep. All right, we're going to kill some of those, too. We're going to go on a killing spree right now. Just because I want to make sure, being that we now have a 54 population, uh, we are going to, to survive this winter. We really got to be careful. So we should have a bunch of hunters going out. Actually, do we have enough tools? We do have 15 spears. That should hopefully be enough. We generally have three hunters for each animal. So I think we'll be okay. Actually, the spears are used for both fishing and hunting, though, right? We don't have a... A specific fishing spear so we actually might want to start working on increasing our tools I was kind of focused on keeping at least 10 tools of each type but now that we're getting into a bigger population obviously we have more people using those things so things especially like bows because they'll be used for defensive purposes as well let's get some of these made now do we have any hides right now we're definitely gonna get some dry skins but we do have some dry skins with us so that's good yeah you know what we're just gonna get a selection of pretty much everything in here and just increase our output because we have been getting complaints that we have a lacking amount of tools so we're gonna keep everybody busy also our capacity is 56 so we are quickly becoming or we are quickly coming up to that if you remember in the last episode we're moving over to the huts now so we're really gonna focus on getting these tents down and increasing our population while we do that oh there is an upgrade button i don't was this always here or did they update it i i might have missed that button but it looks like i can upgrade it the question is do i get some of those materials back because like the hides I could really use I don't even know if I get them back when I recycle but being that it's called recycle instead of trash I would assume I do get the contents back so let's actually see what happens when we upgrade this we're just gonna watch them I just want to make sure I'm not wasting hides because hides are hard, hard to come by and that's really cool so we can simply upgrade them now oh looks like we're on the hunt now where, where the hell are the hunters oh wow we scared everything everywhere we did kill one of those guys Obviously, we're going to have to do some traveling right now to hunt these guys. It doesn't look like... Oh, there we go. He's right here. Get him down, buddy. You're going to die! Okay. Wow. Uh, I, th I thought you had it. Ooh, this could be bad. This could be real bad here. That's the problem with hunting, man. It's a little bit dangerous, but that's a lot of food that we now have in the bank. All right. Let's see what's going on here. So they are... Looks like taking sticks away. So, yeah, they're going to dismantle it. Let's see. Let's speed up. Yeah. Okay. So we don't lose anything 
which is perfect. I love this upgrade tool now. So yeah, we're definitely just gonna upgrade some of these things. And so yeah, this has made my life way easier. Let's focus on upgrading right now. Now they're disassembling them before they build them. I wanna make sure I have the materials because if we don't have homes by winter, we're gonna definitely have some people dying. Spring is almost over. So we'll slowly do these. We're just gonna go down the uh, wall here. We actually only have about half of them to do, so it shouldn't actually take too long. We're doing four at a time. We are low on harvesting tools. Now, have we built those yet? That's the question. Actually, yeah, we built everything. So we're gonna get some more sickles then. Being that we are farmers now, we're definitely gonna wanna keep these guys busy. Flint is something I have to address though. I am constantly looking for a new flint spot. Uh, but yeah, I was hoping, actually, let's check the underground mine. We'll go to our knowledge. We actually have 20 knowledge right now, so we can unlock a lot of this stuff. Oh, all right, I guess we can get into the copper. I thought we had to unlock everything first, but yeah, we could actually get the copper smelting already. Now that kind of makes, ah, uh, you know what? No, let's get rid of the Neolithic era and then we'll slowly go through it. That's kind of cool that you can actually unlock the uh, next age before doing everything in the current age. All right, so yes, we could actually get Flint in the underground mine. So uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna unlock that right now and start working on that. We may as well get stilting as well so we can make some of those bridges. Don't really know what the bridges are for. They don't really have a problem swimming across, but I assume that could get them cold and wet. I have no idea, though. Okay, but now in production, there we go. We have a flint mine, an underground structure to increase flint extraction. Um, is that the only one we have? So it must be specific to each resource then, unless flint's just not with the actual metals. So where, can we put this anywhere? Um, needs to be placed on a flint deposit. Okay, I've mined out the majority of those. So I really gotta find flint right now. All right, that's gonna be fun. Uh, not much flint around. Oh, there we go. We actually got some flint across the mountain over here. Now, can we put something on that though? Cause it's on a mountain. There is a, no, no, that's my megalith as well. <laughs> I'd like to keep it on the same spot as me or not across the river. What is this? Tin ore, okay, so. At least we got some tin around us. We actually got lots of uh, metals around us. So when we do get into that age, we are going to have a great time. But uh, yeah, flint. Ooh, come on. Please be flint. Okay, that's not bad. It's just across the mountaintop. So we can now make, yes, a flint mine. What does that actually require to make? Just wood. We should... Oh, yeah, we have lots of wood right now. So I think we can still mine it out, which is annoying because I constantly have to move my flint guys around. But it should last longer now that we can dig underground. So that's really cool. It looks like, is that just a child wandering away from our city? Or is he going to install the flint mine? I, I hope the child's installing the flint mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's summer. We actually have to harvest. Let's focus on that because food is going to be fun to deal with. All right, and now that it's harvest season, I totally forgot. I think we installed these three new fields last season, so food might not be as bad as I thought anyways because we are pretty much a farming nation now. Now, obviously, I need to make bigger fields, and we'll do that later on when we have more area. I really got to expand out. I think I got to make a second civilization one day just so I have enough room for all these farms and whatnot. But yeah, that's going well. I just told them to get a crap load of berries all around the map. I've been telling them the fish, we just hunted, so I think we should be totally fine in dealing with the food that we have right now. Now, do we want to eat a horse? Oh, man, I just, I feel bad. There's something about horses that they feel like more superior than any other animal, and I feel really bad for killing them. I mean, I know this is just a game, but, uh, well, I mean, it probably does have a crap load of meat on it. So we're going to get the, is there, is there two females at least? Okay, there is two females, so we should be good. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep hunting as well. We need those skins for all that fun stuff, uh, and we definitely need the meat. And as you can see, we're doing pretty good for the meat game right now. Okay, a structure to allow easier crossing of rivers. So we are definitely going to do that. We just hold it. Oh, I love how easy this game is, man. Okay, so we're going to do that. Place entity. What? Why didn't it work? Okay, it's because it's red, so I'm not sure why it doesn't like this placement. Do we got to go a little higher or something? Is it too close to my structure? What the hell's wrong with my bridge? Come on, man. All right. Uh, well, we'll figure this out. We definitely want to get some bridges here, though. That's obvious. Oh, that's definitely not how I'm... Oh, God. I'm breaking everything. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got one. No! No! I want... It was good! Oh, you jerk. Okay, so this is... Uh... 
Oh, not not defensive. I feel like this needs a little bit of work. We had it good there, but I've been okay. Okay, stay there. Yes, did it. That's perfect. It's to a door as well, which is kind of how I wanted to do it. Uh, yeah, this takes a little bit of patience to put these things down. They do work. Sometimes they should seemingly work, and they don't. Well, we have one over here. I guess that's better than nothing. Let's place that. So at least now we're going to all the cutoffs that we could possibly need. I would definitely like a bridge kind of further down, maybe down here, though, just so we don't have to travel too far. All right, that's fine. We'll put down some more bridges later. Let's get that flint mine set up, though. So look at that beautiful thing. Now, oh, it looks like... I wonder if we got to put a, a job thing down here or if they'll just automatically mine it. I definitely want to manage work areas, though. Where are we working with the flint right now? Fish, cut down trees, fish, collect wild plants. Do we not even have... We might not even have a flint zone because it got mined out. That's generally what happens, and it looks like that's the case. I like how I'm hunting in my farmlands. Don't really get too many animals going through here, but, that, I mean, I don't want to overhunt anyways. All right, so it looks like we got to put down a job. Obtain flint, and we're going to put that right here. Invalid location. Okay. Um, is it because it was on a hill? Or do you just not want it here because there's no flint here, you think? So if that's the case... Yes, and this thing's definitely just automatic. Okay, so it looks like the child is going into mine. Nope, he's just going through the mine. Oh, no, he just... What do you do? Oh! Did you just mine, or did you just crap? Wait, what is that? It doesn't even say what you're holding. I, I really wish. Going to hut, but what... I mean, that must be Flint. It's just, like, tied up. It's really weird. Anyway, so it looks like they automatically do it, so we don't need the jobs down, and hopefully we'll keep an eye on our Flint... And hopefully we keep this up. And on the idea of transport, I have no idea how many sledges we have because they generally just he drag them around and I never see them again. But we could always use more. So let's put down some more sledges because I don't think it's going to be... Well, we're, we're going to get a cart once we get donkey domestication in the wheel. That's going to be a little bit far away. So, I mean, obviously we need these carts to keep the materials going around quickly. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep building those things. You guys are still- what's going on here? What do we need? Ah! We need mud! Wait, res resource exhausted, that's why. We do have a mud job zone, but I didn't realize you could run out of mud. Like, that doesn't even make sense. I'm sorry, you could just keep digging down, and when you reach China, then that's probably a good indicator that you might need to start digging in a new area. <laughs> Holy crap, look at our food, too! That is by far the most food we've had, so, yeah, we're doing all right. We're still harvesting, by the way, as well, so... I think we're gonna be okay for food. Now we just need enough spots to boom our economy. We need more population, man. What's going on? Oh, we can we can wool the sheep. Shear the sheep? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh yeah, dude. Milk that goat. Just put your hands down there and don't really do much. But yeah, he's definitely milking it. At least I hope he's milking it. If he's not doing that, I have questions, man. And it's time for another upgrade. I guess we'll do spiritualism. We can get a rolling megalith, a stone circle, dolmen, and a menher. All right. Don't know what most of these things do, but let's buy it. I'm kind of interested with the spirituality. Obviously, it's very important in early society, uh, so it's kind of exciting. A large monument made of several stones supporting a bigger rock. And then we have a stone circle, the ultimate megalith structure, and oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, so I might actually want to do this, because this this will probably make them extremely happy. Doesn't look like I can place it anywhere, though. Can I place it, like, right in my city? Oh my god, I could. If I wanted to, I could. Do we want to make these guys really freaking happy? Can I put it, like, right at the e exit, so they have to walk through it? I actually kind of want it out in the open, to be honest, just because it's big and it's going to get in the way later on when we're refining our city. So let's put it in the, in, in the farms, in the farmland. So we're going to need six megaliths for that. Uh, that's when we're, I guess we got to start mining that stuff. It's right over here. Actually, is this just one? I didn't think about that, but these are big ass boulders, man. So we're probably going to have to slowly collect these things. Where the hell are we going to store these? So everything's going good, man. You can see our food has never been better. We've got some great uniforms now. This is actually starting to look like a civilization. Is she wearing pearls? Uh, no, it looks like seashells, but it's it's close enough. I mean, help the old man out. Jesus Christ, this guy's ready to die. 
First, we have the world's oldest woman mining the megalith, the largest rock that we've ever mined before. So I, I love that this civilization doesn't care about its elders, clearly. They, they're they the ones that are working the hardest here. To be fair, we are starting to age as, as a civilization, so there is a lot of old people, as you can see. Thankfully, a lot of kids around as well, so we're not going to die to old age or anything like that. This feels weird right now. Nothing's going wrong. We're not being attacked. We've had our most successful year ever. We're upgrading and nothing. We're not dealing with material issues or anything. I mean, I, I feel like something's about to happen to me because generally it doesn't go this well. We're actually over capacity now, so upgrading is totally fine. I'm just making sure they're building before I upgrade the next one. And already, now that we have capacity, three humans have joined our settlement. So clearly we're in high demand at least, so that's good. And we should be able to deal with capacity because we're upgrading as we go. And winter is indeed here. I think we should be okay. You can see our food right now. Be able to survive this with ease. Are we missing really anything? We got lots of outfits as you can see. And we're probably going to make more. Now, we have so much dry skin. I wonder what we can use that for now. Now that we don't need it for our tents. Might just be smart to continuously make leather. Let's actually... I don't know why this wasn't on. Let's make a little bit of leather right now. That way we have the resource when we do need it. Now, we are running out of fishing tools. Bone harpoons. How many bones do we have right now? 21 bones. Okay, so we'll be able to make some more bone harpoons. Is there any other... I think that was the last fishing tool that we got. Uh, the flint spear is for hunting and fighting, but it's not for fishing. So, yeah, we're going to make some more fishing spears because we do a lot of fishing. Uh, just looking at my tools, making sure we're keeping ahead of the curve. And everything's going well so far. Flint picks, that's more than enough sickles. We do have a lot of farmers, but that should be okay. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, man. All right, it looks like prepare for transport. Oh, my God, this is going to be a process. Okay. So I didn't, I thought this would be relatively easy to do, but obviously with how many we need, six, we're going to cancel the construction of that. That's going to be something we're going to have to deconstruct some of the smaller things for later on. So let's go back to spiritual. We could do a dolmen. That would take three, or we could simply do a menher, which is one. Let's do one for right now because that's what we already have. And then once we mine three of these, we'll be able to just turn it into the dolmen. So, I just gotta figure out how the hell we get to transfer this. I'm actually kinda curious. Prepare for transport. Oh, we actually gotta log it up. Now, the question is, are we gonna be able to take it across our bridge? That's gonna be interesting to see. And what's going on with the... Why? Why? What, why? Uh, are we supposed to butcher these? Because they're old? Are all the old ones? Obviously, yes. All the old ones are supposed to die, I guess. I mean, it's sad, but it's the reality. Once it's too old, you eat the meat. I didn't realize it would automatically do it, though. I, I, I can't even tell them to butcher it, so I'm assuming they're just going to go, oh, God, on a slaughter. Dear Jesus! I don't want to see it! God, I grew attached to those things! Okay. Please tell me they bred enough to the point where I don't have to go catch any more of those, because that's a pain in the butt. Now, obviously, that's good, though. We get free leather. We get free meat. Uh, I just I didn't expect them to die so early, man. Animals just don't last long enough. Goat has died of a disease. Okay, you know what? Well, I guess... Jesus feels wrong, but let's milk it first and then let's kill it. Uh, because I just don't want it to suffer only for it to die. And... Oh, it... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it was di... It died while it was being milked. Imagine that life, man. Oh, God. Okay, well, we have a crap load of goat meat, as you can see. How many goats do we have? That's the question. Actually, I think there's a bar for that. Um... Oh, look at that. Okay, we got 11 animals... Seven dogs, only three goats, and one sheep right now. Yeah, we're really going to have to work on that population then. All right, but yeah, clearly we're going to have to catch some animals today and uh, make them our own. So we definitely want to do that. And, oh, we can get, can we get pigs yet? Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, do we have enough? We do. All right. Goodbye, Neolithic era. Well, we haven't technically left it yet, but we are officially done it. And now we can capture some boars. So we definitely want to do that. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy this whole family. I feel bad saying that, but it's true. Is this just a random young mouflon? Oh, perfect. We're gonna capture that then. I don't know where your family went. I noticed this reindeer herd just chilling over here. I was thinking about hunting it, but they kind of look cute. And as you can see, our food's doing fine. So I'm gonna let those guys go. And it's official. Goodbye to the tents. 
Welcome to the hut age. We have now hit it. We have a capacity of 68, so we're not going to add any more, being that we don't need any right now. I don't really know how I want to do this anyways, because it's kind of disorganized. We basically have houses on the outside, all the good stuff in the middle. I might rearrange some stuff later on, or I might just keep filling this in and making it look as ugly as possible. But yeah, we're doing good. How are we doing over here for this thing? I really want to get this done. We need one more leather, of course. We're making leather. Uh, do we actually have any on us right now? Doesn't look, we just have dry skin, that's it? Hmm, okay. Okay, with the idea of storage, I'm moving my piles to the outside here because they take up so much room. So we're gonna start trying to organize this a bit, bringing some things we don't nece ne necessarily need behind the walls outside. That way we got all this room over here for more huts and whatnot. We may as well recycle this and start moving all that stuff over there. That should be good enough for right now, and look at that. Look, look at the teamwork on this colony, man. All moving it outside where it should be now. Holy crap, they did it! Now, he's not happy about it, but they freaking did it. So now, they should just automatically drag this, right? Because we technically need it. The Rolling Megalith. That's a, That should be a heavy metal band name. Uh, but yeah, we need one over here, so let's prioritize that. And you guys are going to be... Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, why is it always the old guy? He can't even move it. See, Jesus. Okay, well, we got, is this the same guy? I feel like it is. He looked just like the other guy. <laughs> the poor old man always has to drag things. Okay, thankfully we got a guy helping out. I like that it goes faster the more that people help it. That is so cool. Excuse me, giant rock coming through. Jesus, okay, survive the winter. Go us, we did drop down. Quite a bit of food that year. Obviously, we're doing fine, though. All right, can we let the old guys go rest now? They brought it all the way into our village. Oh, God, again? Who got struck this time? Okay, it was on the camera. And now the message is gone, so I have no idea. God, it should have teleported me over there. Somebody got hit again. I knew it. I shouldn't have jinxed it and said it. Okay, we're, we have people dying of old age, too. Great, there's just people dying left, right, and center right now. But... The Megalith is going up. Look at this thing. They're extremely sad about it, but who cares? It's going up, damn it. So yes, yeah, sadness is striking the nation again. I really hope this Megalith helps. I mean, even the children are sad. Like, that that's pretty bad when children are sad. Again, though, it's not like a lack of nutrition or anything. It's actually relatively stable. We got... Obviously, this guy's really tired. That's probably the guy who had to freaking bring the Megalith over. Yeah, but even, like, people that should be happy, all things considered, I mean, look at this guy's stats. Uh, so damn good. Are just very unhappy right now. Maybe because of the, uh, the lightning strike? I feel like they definitely do get a little bit more sad when people start dying. Still haven't been able to found that guy, by the way. Oh! Look at that! We got pigs as well! Alright, so they finally came back. That is a big-ass pig, man. Alright, so I'm assuming pigs are for bacon. That's, that's the only important thing a pig's for, anyways. So yeah, looks like we got bacon now. I'm really trying to find this damn guy who died, but uh, yeah, it's not it's not easy to find one guy out of 61 residents. Okay, and there we go. We got the men her. I hope that was worth it. We already got Ken over here. Really excited about it. So yes, another religious statue that will hopefully improve the happiness of this people because yeah, right now they are not happy at all. I'm not really sure why. I guess they're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry you have an amazing civilization, guys. I'm sure they'll get over it with time. I mean, we've addressed all their vitals and everything, so they should be happy, all things considered, once this death has gone away. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. This was once again Dawn of Man. Now, it's gonna be really excited next episode because we're gonna get into the Copper Ages. That is for damn sure. And finally, we're gonna get into some sort of metal. As you can see, we can pretty much make all the weapons that we've already been making, except in copper form. When can we make armor? That's what I want to know. Uh, I doubt it's going to be like that, but uh, yeah, we can only dream. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Oh, crap! Okay, there, there it is. I, f I found her at the end, guys. It was a little girl, and I hate that I can't, like put her in a cemetery or something. They just walk over her until she despawns, basically. So, uh, yeah! That's, that, that's another one struck by lightning. Oh, he's seriously walking over her right now. Seriously, man? Okay, just walk over her again. There you go. God. Alright, but yeah, like I said, guys, thanks so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.